Well, hello there. Today, I'm at the most boring spot in Massachusetts because I don't want to break anything. No, actually the reason I'm here is because I was working in the area and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna sneak out and I'm gonna fly a couple batteries today. But really, um, well, you know, of course always practicing, but I've got the stunt twins today, uh, the iFlight duos. Essentially, I need to get a tune on these things and I need to get a halfway decent tune on them pretty quickly. I'm gonna fly a dozen batteries through to both of them and hopefully get them dialed in a little better. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to get a decent tune today. I mean, usually I'll spend easy two or three sessions trying to dial something in. And I've played with these a little bit, but really today is like only the second real session that I've flown them. Uh, the first time I destroyed this one, hit a tree, demolished the frame. I bent almost every single standoff. Actually, I didn't think I hit that hard until I started taking the quad apart, looking at all the damage. I even broke the cast case for the Falcor, like literally ripped the rivets right out of the side of the case. I thought that was pretty impressive. Okay, it's just about time to send this naughty little quad. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've got some awesome TPU prints now, and I have a handful of files for iFlight stuff. So if you have an XL5 or a Strider frame, and you're looking for some, you know, 3D printable stuff, like a 30 degree angle GoPro mount, I've got some pretty cool antenna mounts. Get in there a little bit. See my antenna mounts for the Immortal T? That's pretty cool, right? Uh, but I think it's time to send it. This was a pretty crappy session today. Uh, I wrecked the first quad pretty good. I think I smoked two motors on it and ESCs melted the heat shrink, so that's probably not a good sign either. And then this one here, well, I got about half my batteries through it and I hit the fence because I'm an idiot. And I hit the fence and now it's snowballed and honestly, I'm done. I, I really wasn't feeling it coming in today, but I wanted to get some practice in and I just, I don't want to take chances anymore. I need to pack it up, and it's it's time to call it, you know? I'm going to get my junk packed up, and I'm going to get out of here before I break anything else. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.